Another great feature about the mobile suite is that you have the ability to create your own customized tabs so that you can provide your app subscribers with the information they need in the way that you would like to present it. And to do this we go to mobile and tabs and we're going to scroll down below the list of available tabs to where it says add a custom tab. There are two possibilities for ways in which you can add a tab. You can add a tab that links directly to an existing web page. We usually recommend that somebody link to a mobile friendly web page so as not to create a disjointed experience for the end user. An example of this might be that you want to connect your mobile user with your Facebook page. So in the label you might put Facebook you might select an image that is associated with Facebook and here you might add in the mobile URL for your Facebook page. You simply tap create and it is automatically added at the end of your list. So if you want to raise the order of this particular tab you can do so with the arrows or by simply entering in the position where you would like it to appear and hitting enter. You'll see that it has been moved up to the position which I indicated by the number here. Also you'll notice that custom pages have this red circle on the white X. This indicates that you can actually delete this tab from the list and from your app. Now you'll notice the other tabs that I see here do not have this red circle with the white X. That means that these tabs are provided by the mobile suite system and while you cannot delete them you can turn them off and on in the app by toggling the checkbox display in app. So the Facebook example is a way of uh, bringing a custom tab into your app that ex attaches to an existing page. If I want to create a page from scratch, that's pretty simple too. I can come here and say I want to create a custom tab with information about parking. So I can put in the label, I can determine what type of icon I want to associate with it. I also have the ability to upload. Create, I can create an icon and upload it directly here. I'm going to choose the information icon for the parking tab and then I'm going to select write HTML for the page. Tap create And again, I have the ability to manage all these elements up here, but if I scroll down to Manage tab, you'll see that there is now an HTML editor, much like WordPress or another content management system. You have the ability to make changes in design mode as well as HTML mode. So I'm going to paste in some text. And I'm pasting in from Microsoft Word, so I want to make sure and eliminate any of the extra coding that comes with Microsoft Word. And I did that by using the Clean MS Word HTML button. So I'm looking at this and I decide that I want to change the way this is formatted. So instead of having a single paragraph, I'm going to switch things up a little bit. I'm going to add in a list.
once you have the text the way that you like it in the system you can click save and you can go to the tabs area you'll see that it is at the bottom of the list which is fine it's already enabled and I can look at preview to see how it appears to the end user since this is at the end of my list it's going to be in the more area so I go to parking and I see the text as I entered it now when you're creating custom tabs you can put in tables, you can put in images, you can add links, you can do all sorts of things. You can change formatting with bold, with color, you can do all of that. And this allows you to provide the information that your mobile audience wants and needs in the format in which you'd like to present it to them. If you would like to create a custom tab that has a form in it or has some advanced HTML or JavaScript in it, you can do that. And the easiest way to do that is to go into tabs, create a custom tab using the HTML. actually go into the HTML mode of the editor and paste in the form code or the JavaScript code that you would like to bring into your mobile app and because this is advanced code you're going to need to go down a little further and toggle the use advanced HTML mode for this tab checkbox So this works for forms, it works for iframe elements, and other forms of advanced HTML like JavaScript. If you are not using these in your custom tab, then you do not need to toggle that checkbox. You can simply uh, type into the editor as appropriate and save.